now available for the first time in paperback. Stop simping in the workplace. Men, learn what you need to know in order to protect your job from workplace predators with Stop Simping in the Workplace. Available in paperback at online booksellers everywhere. One of my longtime viewers wanted to know what my thoughts were regarding an older black man at his job. Now, according to what the viewer told me on Facebook, this older black man at his job befriended a clique of women on that job, and as he was befriending this group of women, they decided to go out here and have social interactions outside of the job, kicking it at parties after hours, and carpooling to and from work, and with one of them he loaned them money and gave a ride to one of the women on his days off. Now, this guy, as he was out here socializing with these women, had a situation where the leader of that group of women fell out with this older black man because she became employee of the month. And as she became employee of the month, she decided to start disrespecting this man and stopped talking to him and even involved management to try to get him jammed up. And this all because he decided to go out here and carpool with another woman. Now, what happens here to this older black man is a situation that basically fits the pattern and profile of behaviors that I talk about in my book, Stop Simping in the Workplace, which you can find on Amazon.com on Kindle and paperback. And when it comes to this older black man, He's a textbook workplace simp, and this workplace simp basically wound up getting himself jammed up because he wound up violating the boundaries that most men need to establish as related to the workplace. Now, when it comes to the workplace for men, we have to understand that this is the place where we make our money, and if it's the place where we're making our money to pay our bills, we've got to go out here and establish a hard boundary between ourselves and the women in our workplace. And the boundary you have to establish in your mind is that every woman on that job is off limits for any sort of social interaction outside of the job, whether it be looking to date any of those women on the job, or if you're looking to go out here and be friends with women on that job. No, you cannot go out here and try to go out here, call yourself trying to befriend women at the job, because if you befriend those women, what those women are going to do is go out here and take those blurred boundaries and use them against you. And in this era of Me Too, what can happen to a man is a spectrum of things that man can go from possibly winding up on the road to being in a situation where this woman can go to the human resources department and make claims of sexual harassment, or she can even go to a prosecutor's office and make an allegation of any sort of sex crime. So what can happen to a man is that he could at the least basically be dealing with a write-up or he could possibly wind up getting terminated from his job or in the worst case scenario he could be having police coming to his door to go out here and arrest him so this older black man basically put himself in a situation where he jammed himself up because he didn't understand the boundaries of the workplace and because he didn't understand the boundaries of the workplace he wound up in a situation where he basically was in a in a whole lot of trouble dealing with these women now when it comes to women and on the job they are oftentimes looking to be social and they look to be social because what they want to do is get information from men that will allow them to get leverage in the workplace and that's exactly what these women were doing with this older black man on the job now he thought he was being a nice guy by befriending these women but these women at the job, they were looking for an opportunity to gain an advantage for themselves. 
And what they were looking to do was go out here and look to take advantage of this man's kindness. And they saw it as weakness. And these female predators, as he was out here, going out here, going out here, going out here, hanging out with these women after hours at a party, carpooling them and loaning them money, they were looking to try to get information that they could use to their advantage. And what happened with these women, as the clique was getting benefits from him, is they wound up turning on him, and they wound up turning on him because these women, oftentimes, again, they, they are very catty and very jealous when they form cliques. And when they saw him out here talking to another woman, that's when their jealousy kicked in, and that's when they wanted to kick this man out of their group because he had, in their minds, the audacity to go out here and talk to another woman outside of their social circle. And this is something workplace simps go out here and do because they don't understand how women operate. When women are in a clique like this, they basically are a clique because they don't really can socialize with other people. And what they do is look to use their little high school popularity group to go out here and ostracize others. And if you go out here and talk to someone outside of the group, this is where they want to go out here and punish you for violating their social rules. And what happened to this dude is because he violated their social rules, when one of them started to elevate her social status by becoming employee of the month, she hoped to use her pseudo title to go out here and humiliate and emasculate this man for violating their social rule, which was talking to somebody out of the clique. Because if you go out here and talk to somebody outside of the clique and carpool with that person, what you're doing is violating their social rules because they see a guy like this as basically their property, and they see him as their property because he placed himself in a submissive position under these women by becoming a part of their clique because when those women saw that man befriending them, they basically saw this dude as just another female in their group. And that's the biggest mistake that this workplace simp made as related to this situation. This workplace simp made the mistake of trying to befriend these women. And I believe that he basically made that mistake because what he wanted to do was he wasn't looking to be a friend to any of those women at the job. No, what he was looking to do is what many simps want to do on the job, and that is segue that friendship into an opportunity to go out here and try to make that into a personal and intimate relationship with one of the women in that clique. Unfortunately, this dude didn't have the backbone or the stones to step to that woman and let her know his intentions because workplace simps never really want to state their intentions. No, what they want to do is hope one of these women will figure out that he's hovering or orbiting around her and that as he's orbiting around her and doing all these nice things for her, eventually she'll get the hint that he's actually interested in her and hope that she will want to go out on a date with him and possibly drop the skid mark jockey thong and allow him to get a put his carbon rod in the atomic waste reactor and he will be able to participate in some nuclear fusion. That is what this workplace simp was hoping for in the long term. He hoped that by befriending these women, they would see him as a good guy. And once they saw him as a good guy, what they would want to do is go out here and want to go out on a date with him. But th the whole situation wound up falling apart after the one of the women wound up becoming employee of the month and had her social status elevated and wound up getting gassed. And once she wound up getting gassed, what she wanted to do was make this man pay for, as she saw it, disrespecting the group by going out here and carpooling with another woman. And again, this is why what you do when you're a man on the job is you keep your professional distance. And keeping your professional distance means that you have no social interactions with these women on the job, whether it be 
at when you're at the work site or commuting to the work site no all of the women on that job are off limits and they are off limits because you as a man cannot afford to have your place the way you make the money that pays your bills messed up by any woman's allegations of something going on and you can't have your place where you make your money messed up because some female is upset because you didn't do something that she didn't agree with no when you're on the job you are supposed to go out here and just be all about your work and you're supposed to be all about making your money that is supposed to be your primary focus when you are on the job you are only there to go out here and just do the tax that the boss asks you you are there to just get those tax done and when it comes down to socializing with the women at your job yes you are going to be professional about it but every interaction you have is only about meeting the goals of that job you are not going to have any sort of social interaction with any of these women off the job now i myself when i have worked at jobs i have seen a lot of very attractive women at those jobs and some of them have even stepped to me but i always tried to keep it professional because i understood that my paper was the priority when i was at those jobs and again when i saw these women i knew that they were interested in me but i understood that my main focus was getting my money and i knew that i could not go out here and look to get involved with these women because what many women will do when things don't go their way on a job is what they will do is run to hr and they will go out here and make a claim of sexual harassment even though they were in a social relationship with you what they and they basically comply to it they will go out here and they will try to revise the story to make it look like you did something and again because companies are afraid of lawsuits and being held liable in a lawsuit they will terminate you and it will be next to impossible for you to get another job now another situation you could run into by trying to be friends with women on the job is you could also wind up in a situation where when these women don't get their way what they do is like they did to this guy make the work environment so toxic that you just want to quit and that's what i ran into when i was working at the city college of new york after i got a performance appraisal on september 11th what the woman who was working at that job did was try to overwhelm me with so much work to the point where it was starting to stress me out and when that didn't work what she what they did was make an accusation that i was sleeping as i was standing up at the at the circulation desk at that library and again these women when they can't get their way when they can't be your friend what they will do is try to get you fired and again this is the situation that this dude basically ran into he ran into a situation where he was trying to cross the lines with these women and what that did was basically put him in a situation where his money was put in jeopardy and when it comes to these women at the job the more distance you put yourself between yourself and these women is the best thing you can do you need to put as much distance between these women and yourself at the job and make your main focus of that job be about whatever goal you hope to accomplish when you're on one of these jobs your goal needs to be the main priority that and making your paper because none of these women on these jobs are looking to be your friend no they're looking to be your direct competition and as your direct competition what they want to do is get some information on you so that they can go out here and move themselves ahead of you when it comes to these women at these jobs again they are very social creatures and as social creatures they use information as a weapon and this guy basically went out here and gave them the bullets to take him out at the job because what they could do to this dude is they can either go out here and again make him miserable like this woman did when she became employee of the month this is what happens to a lot of workplace simps once these women start to rise at the job they look to eliminate the simp because 
they don't want anybody there that can say things about them. So what they look to do is try to get this guy to quit. Or what they will do is go out here and run to HR making a claim of sexual harassment or some type of harassment. And you will go from being a friend to a foe because they don't want anybody to disrupt their smooth world or reveal any secrets on them. Yeah, they'll go out here and socialize with you, but the ultimate goal is to get information for themselves. And again, you list the, many of these women out here will do this, and this is why a man, when he's on a job, has to set a hard boundary at that job. And as he's setting that hard boundary, he's not going to go trying to be with them after hours. He's not trying to be friends with these women. He's not trying to get with any of those women at the job because most of those women have a man at outside of that job. So you cannot go out here and call yourself fostering codependent relationships where you're going to be the workplace husband because you're going to find that she's got a man on the side. So what you do as a man is go out here and avoid dealing with these women at the job. Just go out here, do your work, mind your business, collect your check, and call it a day because nobody at that job owes you anything other than a paycheck. So this whole situation, again, is a sad one that one of my longtime viewers has given me, but it is a textbook case of simping in the workplace. And when it comes to a workplace simp, Oftentimes, what he does is try to think that he's going to come through the back door by being a friend into becoming a lover, but all he winds up is getting screwed right out of his job, and that possibly could happen in this situation to this dude. So, this is why when you're on the job, again, it's all about you taking care of your business, making your money, and if there are women who are a part of a clique, you keep your distance from that group of women because that woman, what she will do and that group of women is go out here and if they go to HR, that woman has built in witnesses that can jam you up. So do not go out here and hang with women. No, you leave women hanging and you go out here and make enough money to get to your next goal. And if you want to learn how to avoid uh, female predators like this and identify them in the workplace, you can pick up my book, Stop Simping in the Workplace, in paperback and Kindle format on Amazon.com and other online booksellers like Smashwords, the iBookstore, Google Play, and Barnes and & Noble. And if you want to request a video like this viewer did, you can send a donation of minimum $15 to the Cash App or the PayPal, and if I know something about that subject, I will make that video for you. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Support black-owned and black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.